Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going through creating art dolls from collage art dolls from scratch. So collage is a French term which means to glue and it's one of my favourite mixed media techniques. Um, so what I'm doing here is just going through some magazines. I've got a Flow magazine and a Hyper's Bazaar and a Food magazine. And I'm just going through and grabbing out images that look interesting, that have got good head shapes or body shapes or interesting patterns in the background. Um, for example, on that page I pulled out some lipsticks, um, the trifle there with the stripes on it, some potatoes. So this is going really, really fast because no one needs to sit and see, have someone flip through a magazine for you. Collage has been around since the start of the 20th century. Picasso is one of the, well, not one of the first people to do it, one of the first recognised true artist forms to um, come up with collage. And basically, as it means to glue, to glue something down to a page. Now, that can be in two dimensional or you can do sort of 3D collages. But it's something you've probably been doing since primary school or kindergarten. Yeah, I hear so many people say, oh, collage is so difficult. I've never collaged before. What is collage? How do I do it? It's something innately easy for everyone to do. <laughs> so what I've got here is all the different bits and pieces that I'm pulling out of the magazines. Um, they look like a weird and random assortment. But what I'm actually doing now is just on some paper in my background, I'm sorting them out into some different categories. So in the top left, I've got bodies. Um, you can see I've got donuts and things of soup and all sorts of things up there. But the, the sort of body shapes that I'm going to organise. Next is faces. And again, I've got some proper faces and I've got some vases of flowers. Hats, feet, hands, some decorative pieces, some pieces that would make good backgrounds or islands or something to ground my dolls to. Um, this is a brilliant page out of the food magazine actually. It had a whole heap of candy canes on them which make brilliant legs. So I cut out a whole heap of legs. And I've sort of got a miscellaneous pile which I don't know what I'm going to do with them but they make good patterns that you could cut different bits and pieces out of. So um, collage art dolls again have been around for a long long while. And it is just basically putting random things together to create a human-like form. Again, if you think about Picasso and his odd faces, that's what you're creating. Different scales, different proportions, putting them together to create something funky and something interesting to look at. Um, so you can see I'm actually cutting out some eyes individually so that I can paste over the faces uh, in the bodies, there was milkshake there, there's a makeup palette, all sorts of different things that you can put together to make um, a human-like figure. The other thing that's really fun to do, um, and I didn't have any in the magazines that I had, is if you actually get some animal heads or animal body parts and mix those together and you can create some really interesting effects and creatures I suppose you could say. So basically this is my playtime now. I had all these images cut out of magazines and what I'm doing now is just showing you how you can very easily put some different shapes together. So I'm starting out with the ground which was part of a cushion, putting some soup down for a body, adding on some arms and putting on a head. It's as simple as that. It's lots and lots of fun to do and if you've got kids um, get them to do it with you because I'm sure they could come up with some crazy crazy ideas for you that you, you wouldn't have thought of. Having all the pieces laid out like this as well that you can just quickly go through and make up is lots of fun. I haven't glued anything down. I've only got the brown paper there to sort of use as a bit of a, a visual map so I can see what I'm doing. I would suggest if you are doing this um, as you go along if you're doing this sort of play and experimenting, maybe take a photo of each of the things that you create. So if you really like something, you can go back and use it. This one was one of my favourite ones to create because it's using a potato as a body. 
um, the candy canes as legs, the vase of flowers as the face, and just putting some eyes over the top. And as I was going through, I didn't actually cut out many arms. Uh, I don't know why. I got obsessed with feet for some strange reason and hats, but I didn't actually cut out very many arms. Um, but I had this beautiful piece, again, collage sort of, of images. I thought I could make a pair of wings. So all I've done is just cut it up and cutting out sort of dra dragonfly wings with it. And that's why having that miscellaneous patterns pile is really good because if you don't have something, make it up out of the pile. So very quickly turning my sort of body shape into a butterfly type creature. And with that as well, if you wanted to add shoes or feet to it, you could do that. And you just continue adding to your pile. So the next one that I was going to create, just again, changing my ground, just trying out all the different bits and pieces. And I found by doing this play session after I cut everything out, I had some really clear ideas in my head. One, of what I had in my stash, and two, how different pieces played together. Now, with these the way they are, this is just using the magazine pieces themselves. You can go in afterwards and add extra details to them. So you can get your paint pens on them, um, change colours, add lines, add doodles, depending on what you do in the background. You can personalise these as much as you want. The other thing that you can use in your pile is if you've got scrapbooking papers, go for that. Or if you've got a book paper, you could cut bodies out of that. So it doesn't necessarily have to come from magazines. You can use what you have got um, sitting around you. It just so happens that for sort of these art doll things, having, having the actual faces and making them look like that looks quite funky, but you can, as I said before, use anything that you've got. One of my favorite um, collage things to use is old dictionaries and old um, encyclopedias. And you can get those really easily from uh, secondhand shops. Uh, if you've got a tip shop near you, uh, they always have books and texts there for 50 cents that you can cre um, create lots of stuff. Now, it sounds really odd because one, I'm a teacher, and two, I have more books than you can spit chips out of my house. And it was always a rule in our house that you never destroyed a book. But if I've bought it cheap and I'm using it for this sort of purpose, I can kind of justify it in my head. I don't think I could cut into one that was sitting on my shelf, but if it's been bought for that purpose, I, I, I can sort of get away with it somewhat. So I hope that you have a go at doing some collage. It is it's daunting for some people to sort of sit here and do this and just think outside the bo box. It is very hard to look at a magazine and look at some potatoes or a milkshake and go, yep, I can use that to make a body. Um, but it's just about having fun and having a go. And if it doesn't work, you've just ripped up an old magazine. Uh, talking about magazines, I got most of my images that I actually really liked using from um, the cooking magazine. I would actually suggest if you wanted a good all-round magazine to start with would be something in Australia I would recommend like Better Homes and Gardens because you've got the garden section which would be brilliant you could have flowers in the hair and flowers in your background you've got the cooking sections you've got the craft section and you've also got lots of ads with people in it so you've kind of got all the sorts of bits and pieces that you could do something like this really easily from but again, if you go to some of the second-hand shops, um, some of the charity shops, they often have piles of magazines for sale at ridiculously cheap prices. Um, lots of people want to get rid of their magazines, so if you sort of ask around, you might be able to scrounge a few. The other place that you can get them from, I know our local news agents, um, particularly at the end of the financial year, tends to just put huge big bundles of them out um, to sell um, really cheaply. So you can you can get lots of different things 
um, magazines to use um, fairly easily. So with this process, um, I'll have a close up of the dolls coming up and you can sort of see the different textures in them. I've just put them onto a white background so they're easier to see. I'll be in the next video I'll be using one of these art dolls uh, a variation of this doll on one of the backgrounds and showing you how I actually incorporate it into a um, art journal layout so I hope this has inspired you to get out your magazines get your scissors out and just do a good old stick and paste onto your pages if you've liked what you've seen please uh, subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification and that will let you know when more videos are coming up there's this is going to be a series of videos, so stay in touch and you will see the entire series. Thanks for watching.